black pearl is a jewel of indescribable beauty. Mostly because nobody has ever seen it. Some say the pearl has mystical powers. Others say it is cursed. No matter. I want it. The legends say the pearl is resting in the depths of the Caribbean Sea. A bit of luck and a couple of loaded dice won me a governor's title in the region. The resources of the two islands under my command should help me finance the treasure hunt. The Black Pearl will soon be mine. Greetings, my good chum. I'm excited that you have big plans for this backwater island, yet mind that one does not keep invaluable treasures away from his majesty. As you know, His Majesty is fond of setting fire to things. He has decided to build the world's largest bonfire and needs all the wood he can get. Once a Presidente, always a Presidente. Greetings! Technological progress is the path to autonomy. Go
His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown Representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Good show, old chap. Now that His Majesty trusts you, he requires you to ensure the well-being of the royal swine.
His Majesty wants to exchange wood for sheep. Wood for sheep, anyone? Well, if you don't want sheep, then I guess you'll have to take money instead. President, as you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost forever. As the air was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. My tomorrow never dies. I love Tropico at sunset. 
our research team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel 40 times. If I find out who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe, like underground. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. I've learned of a secret weapon that is crucial to the revolution. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. Listen very carefully. I His Majesty wants to exchange wood for sheep. I am so excited. I was fishing when Captain Joe's magical compass went crazy. I left my boat to mark the spot and swam back to the shore to tell you. It seems that I accidentally forgot to drop the anchor when I left my boat. Now the location of the Black Pearl is lost. Greetings.
I sat with three other members of the research team. Suddenly, it dawned on us. We're four men. You get it? Four men? Incidentally, we also discovered bad puns. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. It's me, Lulu, your radio host, with a very short message. Come join me at the Jolly Roger Beach Bar. Don't just sit there and listen to some boring old radio. Come out, come out, and live it up. The weather is fine and the sea fantastical. Time for fiesta, people!
Underwater bell tests weren't sufficient, old fellow. Even Penultimo can dive that deep if he holds his breath. We have a perfect business opportunity. We can make a huge profit of the misfortune of others. I love this stuff. Now we have them right where we want them. Time for a little gouging. I really should see about getting myself a villainous laugh. <laughs> The world is getting smaller, old chap. One wrong word to the wrong person, and soon the shores of Tropico will be teeming with treasure hunters, all after the Black Pearl. One huge way, Presidente, and it's coming straight for us. We're alive, Presidente. I didn't think we were going to survive that humongous wave. Presidente, we didn't manage to get any research done. So, we decided to steal France's greatest achievements. 
Unfortunately, we broke into their museum of military accomplishments, and all I found was this white flag. It seems we will have to work on our diplomacy skills. War is hell. President, Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. They may have used different words, but that does not matter. Well, hello there, old pal. America is all gloomy and doomy at the moment. I can't have that. If there's one thing I can't abide, it's mopery.
You could say that I was lucky to find this little wonder of the world at the bottom of the sea. What you don't know is that I make my own luck. That is why the Black Pearl rests on my desk, silently absorbing the light from the candles. Ah, how much would you give for this marvelous treasure? No price seems too high. Finding someone wealthy enough to afford it now, that might prove a little tricky. Oh, my wonderful Black Pearl. My precious, my one and only. I would do anything for you. Would you give me what I want? Selling the Black Pearl proved much harder than I expected, my good chum. Nobody has a fortune to spare when the world is on the brink of destruction. This is Lou. 